What's going on, Vinyl Community? Welcome to another video with The Record Spinner. In today's video, I am doing yet another record store vlog. This time around, I'm kind of naming it Trades and Finds. And basically, uh, recently, I was combing through my collection and I came across some albums that I was kind of looking to part ways with simply because the pressings that I had of certain albums kind of weren't up to snuff to what is now available on the market, uh, particularly like some Queen reissues that were done in the late 2000s. Um, not really highly regarded, but I kind of bought them when I first started collecting. And then like recently they did a Half Speed Master series, so I'm kind of looking into replacing those. Um, and just a couple of other things too, just stuff that I know um, is out on the market in better quality. I'm not necessarily going to be picking these albums up again on this visit. I can easily do that, you know, sometime later on down the road at the right price and right time. But I'm just kind of looking just to, you know, snag whatever I'm able to get uh, for what the record store is willing to give me. So let's go in, shall we? And just like the last time that I stopped at the store, got my trusty Pink Floyd Animals tote bag with my trades in here, ready to go. shame this popped up in the store long after I had uh, attended record store day 2017 I believe it was I ended up paying Goku bucks for this but this is the uh, Interstellar Overdrive 12 inch from 66 this is a really really awesome um, version of of that track but it's still cool to see it here I'm surprised no one snagged it Alright, so Brian said that he's willing to give me $70 for what I brought in, so now I know exactly what I'm working with, and uh, let's see what I leave with. Brian, your re request is needed. Which one do I go for? Oh, dude. Only one. Only one. Only one? Mm hmm. Actually, I actually could be with this one. Oh. All right. Desert Island, if you had to pick one, which one would it be? This guy's uh, set aside. Self-title. Self-title? I'd have to go self-title. Self-title it is. My future little ones will be proudly wearing these.
not every day you come across a MoFi pressing of dark side. And on top of that, can't go without mentioning the quadraphonic mix of Adam Hartmother. I don't know if this might come across as a shocker to some people, but I am not a fan of the Grateful Dead, but I do have to say that speaker setup is pretty amazing. Future goals. I think I am ready. Some decisions? Yes, after walking around for an hour. That's how decisions are made. Okay, here I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I kind of anticipated me, uh, the time I left the house because I thought it was going to be a while, but it turns out I wasn't. So I have a little bit of time to kill, and since I'm in the mall and I'm in the area, I ought to stop at Wendy's Burgers and Steaks. Plain cheeseburger, curly fries, and a Coke. The lunch of champions. And then we'll top things off with California fruit shakes and yogurt. Berry madness can never go wrong. Okay, so I just left the mall, just got in my car, and I'm going to show you guys what I got from the record store. Now, as you saw in the video, uh, Brian made the decision on which Ramones album I should get out of the first three, and I went ahead and uh, stuck with his suggestion and got the uh, self-titled debut from 1976. Uh, this is a punk rock masterpiece. I mean, everyone goes on about the, the Clash and the Sex Pistols. This is real punk right here. Um, you get Blitzkrieg Bop, Beat on the Brat, Judy's a Punk, 53rd and 3rd, Today Your Love, Tomorrow the World. I mean, th this album is just chocked full of early Ramones classics. Um, even if you're not into punk rock, uh, this is um, a must-own, I would say, if you're just a pure music appreciator. Uh, this is a recent reissue that Rhino did uh, last year in 2018. Um, I already have the 40th Anniversary Deluxe set, uh, which features the album Newly Mixed in Mono, which I think really works in that format, considering how stripped back um, the arrangements are and just the way that it's recorded. It comes across, I would say, much, much better in mono, but the stereo mix is not bad, and um, I think I had a stereo version on red vinyl that I ended up selling to a friend of mine, uh, so I figured... For the sake of having different mixes and versions, I would go with the new stereo reissue. So I'm really glad that I snagged this. And then up next is an album that I shockingly did not buy sooner. It's kind of been on the market for a while. And like I've said a million times on this channel, I'm filling in gaps. And yeah, just now thinking about it, it's just weird that I don't have live albums from this period of his career. And you can speculate who I'm talking about until I pull it. Ziggy Stardust, Spiders from Mars, David Bowie. This is the sort of soundtrack um, to the film, uh, which chronicles um, the show that Bowie and the Spiders did at the Hammersmith Odeon from 73, which was like the last Ziggy gig. Um, two LP set, um, a very good set list, a lot of heavy emphasis on the Ziggy Stardust album, and Aladdin Sane, and then you also get some other oldies, such as Space Oddity, of course, um, Width of a Circle, it's a really good version on here, um, and yeah, I don't have any live Bowie stuff from 72, 73, um, essentially all I need now is the Santa Monica 72 album, and then with this, I'm pretty much all set, but I'm very, very glad that I decided to snag this while I did. And last, I'm telling you, so like picking those two albums there was quite easy. And I'm like, yes, I'm going to leave with this. But I had a little bit of credit left. And I'm like, well, crap, what can I get? And so I was kind of digging and I stumbled across this. And it kind of made sense because um, I was talking to Brian, the manager. Um, he appears in this video as well as all the other uh, vlogs that I do. Uh, he was saying that there's this one regular that comes in and trades in a lot of stuff and he's into like a lot of like early like old school classic rock kind of stuff and uh, I saw this and I'm like okay this is an artist that um, I need to fulfill more of in my collection. I just recently got their most notable live album uh, fairly recently around November December-ish I would say and uh, this is the first studio album that I now own. 
and that is Thin Lizzy, Johnny the Fox. Um, I believe this came out after Jailbreak, and it was this tour and Bad Reputation uh, tour that the album Live and Dangerous was recorded off of. Uh, but you got some really, really awesome uh, tracks on this album that you have um, Johnny the Fox meets Jimmy the Weed, um, Don't Believe a Word, and one of my favorites, Massacre. Um, just fantastic early Thin Lizzy stuff, and I am very excited to give this album a spin. So there you go, guys. That is my record store vlog on my trades and finds. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video, and most importantly, keep the record spinning.